So a typical WordPress installation creates a lot of pages that we don't necessarily want to be indexed in Google. And this video is going to show you how to make a decision whether you should be uh, indexing those pages and, uh, and identifying pages that we probably don't want to index and then how to use the Yoast SEO plugin to make sure that Google is not indexing them. So let's check it out. All right, I'm in the back end of a site that we're in the middle of working on. Uh, I'm going to go over to the um, SEO, uh, the US SEO pay, um, plugin, and we're going to go over to Search Appearance. So I click on that, and basically we need to decide what is going to be going into the, um, what's, what's going to be getting indexed or not. And this is where all of that's going to be done. So first, um, settings for single post URLs, you always want to make sure that this is checked yes. If it's checked no, basically no, no blog post that's ever put on the site is ever going to show up. So you definitely don't want that. Pages, the same thing. My templates, I'm not really interested, since this is an Elementor site, I really don't want my templates showing up on, on Google. So we're definitely going to, in, uh, to no index those. And projects, this website is going to have, um, I believe, projects, or, the, or it's going to have like a portfolio that's going to be displayed there. So I'm going to leave this as yes, just because I don't want us to, um, I, 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 I don't know if he's going to want to index his, um, his portfolio or not, but it probably would be a good idea to have it. Next, we're going to media. Um, I think that we are good here. We're going to go to taxonomies. All right, so in this case, we have to make the decision, are we going to be indexing our category archives, our tag archives, and our post format archives? Um, this, is a, uh, this is a strategic like judgment call. So the first thing that we want to decide is, is this the type of website that someone's going to be potentially interested in looking in in finding showing on Google all of the articles that you've written about a specific topic? So, like, let's say you happen to have a blog. I'll put a case where that would make sense. If you have a blog where you've um, you've written this corpus of um, content about being a digital nomad. And um, and so and you're trying to get this cave this category page to rank for articles about digital nomads. Then it, that's something that you definitely want to be indexed, and you definitely don't want to set to a no index. At the same time, if you have the type of website like the ones that we typically work with, that are like lawyers, for example, and see your workers' compensation lawyer. If someone comes to your website, if, if somebody's looking into issues related to workers' compensation, chances are that they have a very specific problem and issue that they're, re that they're researching. And they're probably not looking to just, hey, let me read everything that I can find on this website about uh, workers' compensation. So in that case, you probably don't need to index your category pages. Um, and the same thing with tag pages. Again, a tag is just another way to organize all of your content that talks about this a subject. Now let's talk about a, a situation where you probably would not, you would never want to no index your categories or your tags or anything like that. Um, one of them would be an e-commerce site. Um, you, you, there's a very good chance, like for example, we go over to Google, I'm going to type in um, French dinnerware brands. Most of these results right here are category pages. So, and if you're wondering what I mean by category pages, let's go to Bloomingdale's. This is an archive of French dinnerware brands. This is an archive page. If, uh, if we were to set a, if, if Bloomingdale's did something crazy and no index this, their, in their archive page, the product archive pages, um, this wouldn't be able to show up, and that's actually something that they're tr that they're actively working towards. So, getting back over to th this roofing site, um, there no one is coming to the site to to if they're going to come to their blog, um, they're probably not going to be going into. Uh, we're probably not going to be trying to rank the articles about um, everything about shingles. So, I'm actually going to no index all of these. On um, this format-based archives, that means. Um, it, they'll have an archive of 
like let's say um, uh, tutorial videos, blogs, images, infographics, and so forth. Different. So you can tag things uh, a post with a specific type of format. This, since we're probably the only content that's going to go on the site in the first place is going to be blogs, uh, we, def we definitely don't need that. So I'm going to save those changes. And then we're going to go to the archives page. Um, this is not the type of website where people are going to be interested in finding articles written by the, the name of the um, the author. So I'm actually going to get rid of that as well as date archives. Now, you know what would make sense um, to, to leave it for like a date archive? A newspaper. If you're trying to look at the articles that were written on a specific date or a specific month, maybe that would make sense. If you're talking about a roofing site, it doesn't make any sense at all. So I'm, I'm totally going to no index that. Special pages, I'm, I'm going to leave that alone. Hit save, and um, that wraps it up. So at, just to wrap everything up, um, when you're going to choose pages to no index, um, when you're going to, I'm sorry, when you're going to choose category, like category and archive pages to no index, you really have to make sure that you understand the SEO strategy. Are you going to be um, trying to get all of your posts about a specific topic to show up on Google, if that's the case, don't no index them. You're going to be shooting yourself in the foot. Um, on the other hand, if you are, um, if you've decided that um, you, you want to keep your, you want to keep a tight crawl budget and you don't want Google crawling a bunch of um, low quality pages, especially if you're not even going to maintain a blog at all, then you definitely want to go in there and no index those pages. And it's really important that you think this through thoroughly before you make any of these decisions. Uh, I hope this video was helpful. If it does, or if it was, please uh, click the like button. Um, subscribe if you're looking for more uh, videos on um, SEO and web design. And um, if you have any opinions about this topic, I'd love to hear. Um, I do check the comments and I will respond to them if you leave any. So uh, thanks for watching.